Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here is follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here, this becomes 8 raised to the power x over 8 squared equals to 40 from here. The next step. You can write this as 8 raised to the power x over a square 8 times 8 that's 64 and equals to here we can write this as 40 over 1. The next step here we cross multiply 8 raised to the power x times 1 same thing as 8 raised to the power x and here we have 40 times 64. The next step here we take the log on both sides. So this here we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 40 times 64. And from here, we apply the power of log ring. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. So this here, this becomes x log 8 equals to log 40 times 64. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. That is, log 8 cancel each other here. We have x left, which is equals to log 40 times 64 over log 8. Then from here, this follows from the law of log n, which you can from when we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. At this, what we have here becomes x equals to log 40 plus log 64 over log 8. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 40 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Then here, we can write 64 as 8 times 8, that's 8 squared. At this here, all we have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 8 plus log 8 squared over log 8. Do it to watch to the hand so that you can gain maximally from here then here we apply the power of log ring and two comes there then all we have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8 the next step here, we have log 8 cancel each other in two left here. That is x equals to log 40 over log 8 plus 2. Then, here also we can rewrite 40 as 8 times 5, which implies all we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 5 over log 8 plus 2. Then, this also follows for the law of log ring. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 plus 2. That is here. Also, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 5 
over log x plus 2. That is here. Yeah, log x cancel each other. We have one left. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus. Here yeah, we can write 2 first, then plus log 5 over log 8. That is next step we have x equals to 1 plus 2 that is 3 and plus log 5 over log 8 and from here also we can express it as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 cube all we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 5 over log 2 cube then here we apply the power law of logarithm. 3 comes here. And what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Then next step here we can write this as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 multiplied by log 5 over log 2. Then here we apply change of base. And when we have log a over log b, which is the same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. Then also here we can bring this together as one fraction. So this is 3 over 1. We have x equals to SCM here. That's 3. And what we have here becomes 3 plus. Okay, sorry. This is not 3 again now. This should be 9. 1 in 3. That's 3. 3 times 3. That's 9. Then plus here. Remain log 5 is 2. That is. The value of x here becomes 9 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if we satisfy this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 9 plus log 5 is 2. All over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 9 plus log 5 raised to 2 over 3 minus 2. Then is it equals to 40 on this side? Then next step here, we can bring this power together as one fraction. So this is 2 over 1. Now we have 8 raised to the power SCM here, that's 3. Here we still have 9 plus log 5 is 2. Then minus 6 here. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then here we have 9 minus 6, that's 3. So this, this becomes 8 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 40 on this side and next step we can write 8 as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 40 on this side the next step here this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other what we have becomes 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 raised to 2. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then this follows from the law of indices. What we have a raised to the power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. At this here, we have 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power log 5 raised to 2. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then 2 raised to power 3 
2 multiplied 7 3 times. That's 8 and times. Here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. And this same thing as 5. Is it equals to 40 on this side? And of course, 8 times 5 gives us 40, which is equals to 40 from here. As this we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 9 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.